Well, good morning. It is a Monday, yes, and you with George Everard, and we are on growth track, growing as you are going. That is what our desire is. That is what my desire is, to see you grow as you go through life. And we are speaking about growth this week. So this week, we want you. I want you to experience a spiritual growth in your life. So we're going to be speaking about spiritual growth. And on this Monday morning, growth produces maturity. <laughs> Come on. Uh, growth produces maturity. We all desire to mature. Not so. We all desire uh, when we were young to, to reach that certain age. Wasn't that so? I, I can recall uh, growing up as well. I, I, I needed to get to that age of 16 so I could get my moped license. And when I got my moped license, I couldn't wait for the age of 18 so I could get my car license. And uh, so we went on and on and on as well in life, growing to maturity, growing to 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 become somebody great. Now you get to that age where kind of your body doesn't want to function like it used to because now you're getting a little old. Not so. But part of our growth in our Christianity is maturity. We have to learn how to mature. Now, Again, let me let me just say I, I I've been serving the Lord for uh, around forty seven years. Uh, have I matured? Well, sometimes I'm still a babe in certain areas of my life because, you know, the, there are certain things that break down in our spiritual life, and and we have to build up and we have to mature in it. So so maturity is a process. Even after serving God for forty seven years, am I still maturing in my Christianity? Of course I am. I'm learning new things. The Bible is filled with, with uh, a journey that never ends. And this journey will lead us into eternity. And that is amazing to think about that, that, that my maturity doesn't stop when I die. But then I continue my journey now, seated at the right hand of the Father in Christ Jesus. Wow, what a place. I think then we reach our full maturity as a Christian when we are seated, when, when we enter through those pearly gates not so when uh, we hear the voice of our heavenly father say well done good and faithful servant you've made it come and take a seat <laughs> at my table isn't that wonderful the psalmist writes that in psalm 23 that that uh, god says he prepares a table even before our enemies now that is related to maturity as well of how i handle my enemy now 1 corinthians paul writes to the corinthian church uh, in verse uh, in chapter 13 verse 11 it says when I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. <laughs> yeah, I believe we've all heard these words at some point in our life. Grow up. <laughs> I, I think I still have heard it just recently, you know, kind of get a lashing out and saying, come on, grow up, man. You're, you're an adult. You're, you're, you're no longer a child. And sometimes we have to be reminded of the growth that needs to take place within our lives. Now, as a Christian, I believe we all need to grow up and stop blaming the devil for everything that goes wrong in life. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that we blame the devil at times for all the things that go wrong? I can remember a famous cricket player once upon a time making a statement, the devil made me do it. Yes, we know the devil makes us do things because we fall into the temptation of the devil. But sometimes we, we, we kind of want to use that as a cop out. Not so. Oh, well, the devil made me do it. No, no, no. Come on. If you were willing to do that, what the devil was tempting you to do instead of resisting the devil, come on. And, and that again, we need to submit to God. James 4, 7 tells us, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. But again, when we fall into the temptations, this means that we are not res resisting the devil. Now, much of our failure in life we are living is caused by the lack of the ability to grow as Christians by trusting, putting our faith in the word of God, putting our faith in the promises of God. How many times in reading in the book of Exodus do we see the Israelites failing? Why? Because they always complain. They, they, they fail to mature in their journey. And, and we know the story. 40 years they spend complaining 
in the desert. 40 years they failed to mature. 40 years they failed to put their faith and their trust in God. There came a time in their life when, when God was about to bring them into the promised land. He sent in the spies. We know the spies went in and only two came back with a positive report. The rest complained. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Why? They did not mature in their walk with God, yet spending time with God, yet seeing what God has done for them, how God brought them through the Red Sea, brought them out of Egypt, how he provided for them, how he led them through the wilderness, yeah, onto the brink of the promised land. They come out and they say, we are but grasshoppers in the sight of the enemy. God says, yes, but I'm willing to fight on your behalf. I'm willing to take down the enemy on your behalf. But they failed to put their faith and trust in God. As a result of that, that entire generation went back into the wilderness and there they died. Now, life is not different. We are constantly being tested through various temptations. Testing produces maturity that will help us grow in our testing <laughs> growing as you are going we are going through things we're going to go through things but we grow as we go even in the problems that we face even in the temptations that we face even in those areas where the enemy tries to trip us up we have to mature we have to grow so our greatest example is jesus himself who was tested after his baptism. And remember how he overcame? He overcame the enemy by saying this, it is written. How do I overcome? How do I grow? How do I go into life and continue to grow? By reminding the devil that of the written word that God has given to you. Just like Jesus, you need to turn to the enemy and say, it is written. So come on. Remind the devil of what is written and the promise that has been given to you.